going on everybody it's your boy marcus and i'm back with another video today is christmas eve i'm actually in the car right now i had these packages um scheduled for a pickup yesterday then i went to st louis and then they didn't pick them up has that ever happened to you guys i get an email saying um your packages were not picked up because it wasn't the accurate amount i scheduled 10 packages i only put out eight and they didn't pick it up because of that and lo and behold the only day that i schedule a pickup i go out of town so i'm not even there to actually pick the packages up to take them in myself because they never got delivered so hopefully as a top rated seller i won't get a strike uh for packages going out late let me know in the comment section below if anything like that has ever happened to you guys so i'm actually on my way to the post office right now 8 52 in the morning to drop these packages off and then i'm gonna go pull some orders but in today's video what i'm gonna do is go over five things that you guys can resell for free to get started in the in, in the reselling game this is directed towards um anyone that's trying to get started sorry about that guys i got this tech and sports and uh uh daily refinement playing in the background man i didn't even think of that but anyway uh if the audio sucks on this i apologize for that but i'm directing this video towards like my nephew for instance who's a young teenager um a legal adult but doesn't have a job and is thinking of he has the negative mind frame of how can i get started when i don't have any money because i keep trying to get him started on ebay so there's no excuses and I'm gonna show them how. So stay tuned, guys. my storage guys i want to show you these hats real quick that i found at the goodwill bins uh it's arenado from the st louis cardinals i got three of them these hats are gone for 20 bucks a piece and they were all just sitting in the bins just like this didn't even have to do much to them like one of them i had to clean but the rest were all in good enough condition that i didn't have to so before i jump into the video and share with you guys these five things i'm going to pull my orders and uh show you guys what's up so in order to keep the riffraff down and minimize the clutter in my storage unit, I've started keeping my inventory stored like Chris from Daily Refinement does, where it's boxes on a shelf with the number system. And the first item to go out is going to be these Gap jeans uh, right here for 16 bucks. And if you can see, the custom SKU number right here is 19. So that would be in this first box that starts with one and goes all the way to 20 something so hang on let me show you guys I'll pull this box down now ideally i have a ladder to stand on but so it goes from one and then i just flip to 19 boom pull the order down pop the box back up and that item is pulled and it's a fairly quick process. It makes pulling orders a whole lot easier instead of stacking and unstacking totes and pilfering through the totes to find out which item sold and where it's at. So that's just gonna be a way to streamline my process and make pulling orders a lot quicker for me. Cause sometimes I spend hours in here. <clears throat> sometimes I spend at least an hour in here pulling orders, the more that I have. So if I got 20 orders going out or if I got 25 orders going out, it takes me quite a while to look through this mess and find everything. So that's just a way that I'm trying to streamline my picking process. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. By the way, those Gap jeans sold for $16 and I got, um, let's see, how much do I have into them? 
I have a dollar forty into those jeans and they sold for thirty or for sixteen bucks. Next up, I have these cycling shoes. They're called Physic. Physic. Never heard of this stuff, but I'm not into cycling. But I do know that from selling for the past year that cycling stuff sells well. So if you see cycling shorts, cycling shirts, um, cycling shoes, look them up. I paid five dollars for these, I believe. I paid five dollars for these shoes. Uh, someone sent me a best offer of 30 bucks and I accept it. I could have gotten more if I would have just waited. But you guys know me. I don't like waiting. I don't like playing the holding game. I like quick flips. So five dollars into thirty dollars plus shipping these are kind of heavy because they have metal in the bottom so uh it's gonna be probably about three pounds and the buyer paid for that so so the next item i have going out is going to be this rosetta stone right here and this is why i'm trying to make the cooking process easier so it's this rosetta stone spanish um language thing you know to yourself spanish I got this at a yard sale a couple months ago with a bunch of P90X items. Now, I didn't list the P90X items on eBay because they're um, a Vero product. Um, you can't sell them on eBay without risking your account. But apparently so is this. Rafa from Early Bird Picker told me that Rosetta Stone is also on the Vero list. So... By the time it's all said and get done, guys, everything's going to be on the Vero list and we're not going to know what we can sell on eBay. But anyway, $5 for this and I sold it for a best offer of $35 bucks plus shipping today. The buyer paid $27 for shipping because they live in Canada. And let's see here. $35. There we go. $35 plus shipping to Canada so five into 35 not a bad flip just uh I don't know if I'll pick it up again I don't know if I'd pick that up again even though the return was pretty good I just don't like putting my account at risk since this is the only way that I have to make money right now so just something to think about so the next item I have going out is one of these CDs right here I got a bunch of these um probably about a month ago at the bins this is acdc who made who um it's complete the case is a little banged up paid 90 cents for it and i sold it for four dollars plus shipping so not a whole lot of profit but there is a market out there for media so take a moment to look through it when you guys are at the bins or at you know some place where you can get it for cheap enough because sometimes you'd be surprised at what this stuff sells for so now this is what i'm talking about guys <clears throat> in order to get to this tote right here i had to move this tote i had to move this tote and i had to move this tote and now to find these jeans right here that have sold i have to go through this whole tote to find them and this is what takes the bulk of my time when I'm looking for orders. This is what I'm trying to eliminate. So these are the pants that sold. Luckily, I didn't have to go too long through it. Luckily, I didn't have to look too long. But these Lee Modern Series jeans, I got these on vacation for four dollars at the Goodwill Benz in Houston, Texas. These sold for fourteen dollars and fifty two cents. Not a lot of profit, guys. It just is what it is, but I'm super glad to see these go because I got these in July and here it is Christmas Eve and I'm finally just now getting rid of them. So don't pick up Lee Modern Series, guys. Don't pick up Lee anything. Uh, maybe if it's a vintage crew neck sweatshirt or something, you might have good luck with it, but don't pick up Lee unless you want to sit on it for a while. It will sell, but it'll sell in six months. Now I have to put all this stuff back in there and restack all these totes right back on top of it and that just isn't a way that i mean i know there's a lot of resellers out there that do this i know that there's a lot of resellers out there that do this how do you guys feel about this part of the process where you gotta take totes down and then restack them and it's just not fun now the next item that i got is in been 
F9, which luckily is just this weird random bag over here, this IKEA bag with stuff in it, so it's not going to take too long to go through there, but still, if I had everything in my new SKU system, it'd be a lot quicker to find the item. I believe this is it, though. Yep, these Duluth pants right here sold uh, for, let's see, I paid seven dollars for these Duluth jeans which is super duper high for me normally I wouldn't ever do that uh but before I start going to the bins again on a regular basis I went thrifting and I paid seven dollars for these women's Duluth jeans out of every out of all things and I sold them for thirty dollars plus shipping Duluth is a good brand guys um look out for it and if you see it and it's in good condition, pick it up. But I've even sold some trashed, like stained Duluth pants for eight bucks that I paid a dollar for. So anything Duluth will sell for the most part, not everything, but any, not anything, but for the most part, a lot of Duluth will sell and it'll sell pretty good. All right, as we move another tote out of the way, the last item to sell is going to be this right here <clears throat> this is an Orvis brand denim shirt it actually got returned uh because it didn't fit right which i'm hoping it doesn't get returned this time around because it's a men's shirt but beth bought it so who knows um if she is aware that this is a men's shirt maybe she bought it for her old man uh, for a Christmas present. Anyway, I paid, I want to say I paid $6 for that shirt at a thrift store too. No, I paid $5 for that shirt. I paid five bucks for that shirt at a thrift store and that sold for $14 on a best offer. Uh, really just want to get rid of it. And um, that's going to be it for the orders, guys. So I'll catch you back at the crib after I pack these up and we'll go over these topics or and we'll go over these items that you could sell for zero dollars and get started today. This is the part you guys don't see. I just did a load of laundry that I got from the bins yesterday that's in the dryer. And now here I am getting ready to wash these jeans and clothes. And what I do is if there's any stains on it, I'll hit it with a shout. I just got these basic generic stuff with some oxy clean in there to, to get it uh, cleaned up. And I'll take the, the labels off of this stuff, the Goodwill labels. And uh, trash those. But essentially you wanna make sure all your items are cleaned for eBay because it even tells you in the policy to only sell clean clean clothes. So gotta wash the stuff, guys. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> we're gonna discuss five things that you guys have around the house that you can get started today selling on eBay with. And the first thing is gonna be clothing. If you have clothes that you are no longer wearing or if you haven't worn in six months, I suggest donating it or in this case, starting an eBay account and listing it and learning how the platform works. This will give you the time to also learn how fees work as well. Uh, you'll learn which items sell fast and which items you shouldn't even waste your time with. This will also give you something to look out for. If you list something that you already have for free and it sells fast, that's probably going to be an item that you should try to look for again. So the next item that I'm going to recommend selling is sneakers. Sneakers have a great ROI. Um, they usually sell quick depending on the model. I suggest Nike. Uh, Adidas doesn't have as much of a following as it used to, but Nike will sell well. And uh, certain trainers like Hoka One One or um, On Clouds, things like that. These aren't the typical shoes that kids have laying around though. So just be mindful that you might not have desirable items, but test the waters with what you do have and see how that goes. The third thing that almost every teenager in the world has is video games. Video games or consoles that you're no longer using or that are out of date or you just got the new PlayStation 5 for Christmas so you need to know to do you need to know what to do with your PS3 or your PS4 that you're no longer using. 
flip it on eBay. That'll give you a decent amount of capital to start with. That way you can take that money and go sourcing at thrift stores or yard sales to find better items to flip for a decent profit. That'll give you a good leg up getting started in the reselling game. The fourth item that I'm going to suggest selling is movies and DVDs, Blu-rays that you're no longer using. Also, pretty much every kid out there has a movie collection also that they're not using or that you know you might be able to take the hit on if you're really serious about getting started on eBay and you need capital somewhere start out with your media collection it's just a suggestion guys the fifth one this might not pertain to everybody but it's going to be any household electronics that you're not using say a boom box or um, CD players you know iPhones you know accessories that you guys have laying around that you're not using um, pretty much everybody's got a broken iPhone or a broken phone with a screen that shattered um, use that as capital to get started with as well phone uh, you might have wireless headphones that you're not using anymore or a gaming headset that you're no longer using or you know something like that of that nature these are all items guys that you guys can use as capital to start selling and flipping things for a profit on eBay so I know it took a long while for me to get to this point in the video man but I really hope you guys got some value out of this let me know in the comment section below what else you guys want me to make a video on so that way I can help you along on your reseller journey that's gonna do it for this one though guys I'll catch you on the next one but until then let's make this cash guys peace